right, let's talk about Decision 2024 because we're now just a few hours away from the second Republican presidential primary debate. We've got seven candidates that will face off at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California. And once again, frontrunner Donald Trump, he, he's skipping the event. He instead is going to be speaking at an auto parts factory in Michigan. Spectrum News 13's Cassie Simeon, she's live for us tonight in California. So, Cassie, what exactly is at stake here? What can we expect tonight? Well, Greg, this is really an opportunity for these candidates to show America that they are a viable alternative to former President Donald Trump for the Republican nomination to face off against President Joe Biden in 2024. And one expert that I spoke with, she's a strategist for Republican candidates like these that we are going to see tonight. She said it really all boils down to this. They need to show that they can lead tonight. It's round two of the Republican presidential primary debates. This time, seven candidates will do battle. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, former Vice President Mike Pence, entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Noticeably absent, the overwhelming frontrunner for the Republican nomination at the moment, former President Donald Trump. I think everybody's pretty clear on, on who Donald Trump is and what he would do. I think we've watched him be president before. None of these people have ever been president. So it's not like we've had an opportunity to watch them be executives. So, I, you know, I... The conventional wisdom in most consulting circles is, is that if you're ahead, don't go to the debate. It's only going to drag you down. The seven candidates will verbally spar for two hours tonight and are expected to be questioned on issues both foreign and domestic, including how they would handle the threat of a government shutdown this weekend. Republican strategist Ann Dunsmore says this moment is critical for the candidates to show they can do more than get off a good soundbite and prove they are not just a flash in the presidential primary pan. We need leadership and how to find solutions. So that's what I'm looking for tonight is who's going to be a leader and who's going to point fingers. Leaders don't point fingers. Leaders lead. And we need that in our executive. I think we're going to see mudslinging because people still respond to it. But I think people need to be careful about how much they do it because it's going to be the tipping uh, of the balance when they do them. The Biden campaign tells Spectrum News they'll be watching tonight's debate and that voters should be able to see a clear distinction between the Republican candidates and President Joe Biden's agenda. Elections are a choice and the choice that Americans are going to face in November 2024 is between a president who believes in unity, who believes in uniting this country and getting big things done for the American people and between an agenda that is focused on dividing the American people undermining our abilities to lower health care costs for the American people and take away Americans' fundamental freedoms. It's that simple. Now, the next debate is already scheduled for November 8th in Miami, but the bar for entry will be a lot higher than this time around. So really, the candidates need to come out tonight and prove that they can lead and prove to be memorable for voters if they want to appear on that stage in November, Greg. Cassie Simeon, live for us in Simi Valley, California. Appreciate it. We'll see you back here a little bit later tonight. Cassie is going to be part of our live team coverage, analyzing everything mentioned by the candidates on stage. So join us at 11 p.m. for our live coverage right here on Spectrum News 13 and on the Spectrum News app. By the way, coming up in just short